Hello folks and welcome to Inkdependence.com brief video review and water drop test. This time we've got Lammy's Blue. Comes in these lovely, lovely little cartridges. Actually these are pretty big cartridges when it comes right down to it. Uh, Santa Ana National cartridge is about that long. Uh, so you got quite a bit more ink in this one. Um, these come with most of the Lammy pens, the safaris, uh, the all stars, the studios, all that kind of jazz. You'll get one of those. And uh, just in full disclosure, I've never uh, used one before. I usually get a converter, and so I just pop the converter in and go straight to bottled ink. Uh, but if you are unfamiliar with these, you just take the cartridge at uh, this end and just kind of push it in there until you feel a give. And uh, that will have opened up the cartridge. Um, I'm not a huge fan of cartridges, but they're, you know, they're fine. They have their place for sure. These are good sized cartridges, which is nice. Um, probably hold at least as much as a probably more than a converter really. This is a really long cartridge. I might just refill it. Uh, it also feels pretty sturdy here in the neck. Um, so if you're a person who likes to refill cartridges, this one might last longer. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll uh, make that a test. But anywho, uh, this is a Coral Safari that I've been using this in uh, with an oblique medium nib I just got from uh, Anderson Pens. I got a bunch of uh, Lamy nibs and they had this oblique medium, which is kind of cool. Uh, you can see there it's a footed nib, so it kind of slants this way. Which means if you over rotate your pen, if you're one of those folks, uh, or if you just want to have a bit of an interesting nib, it does give you kind of like a sideways, I uh, don't know, it's not sideways, but you get a little bit of a stub action from that. Anyway, all right, that's enough about the pen. Boom. Although this Coral Safari looks really good with the uh, the band here and the black nib, uh, and then the black, you know, blacked out ink window, which is cool. All right. Um, these are fine cartridges. Uh, give them a shot. The ink that's in them is also fine. It's not blowing my doors off, but it's doing perfectly well for a blue. It doesn't really have any bleed, feather, or spread. I didn't have any problems with it there. It does have a little bit of sheen. If you look right here, if you're laying it down heavy enough, you'll get a little bit of sheen. Not a whole lot. Also a little bit here. Uh, that's where the ink pool, you'll find a little bit, but in regular writing, nah, you're not gonna find it. So I originally wrote no, but uh, you might get some, uh, because I actually didn't notice it until this splotch had dried. Never in the real writing. The regular uh, writing that I find is not here anywhere. In fact, this ink is just a little bit watery, I think. Uh, the flow, I say, fine, no problems. And that's true. Um, uh, Lamy pens, for me, can be a little bit on the dry side. I think this ink is a little bit watery. So it doesn't really flow wet exactly, but it's fine. Eh, no problems. I do think it works better on regular paper than it does on Rodeo. So let's take a look real quick. And uh, there it is on regular 20-pound Staples copy paper. I think it looks quite nice actually. It's um, it's you know it soaks into the paper a bit more, so it looks a little bit more saturated. Uh, but on the other side of the paper, I mean, you got some show through, but that's only because I've got a white on white here. And not really, no bad, not ugh, not bad at all. I would totally use the back side of this page. This is not it. It's okay, come on, paper. Where is my? There we go. That bit. So um, no problems. But I think it looks slightly nicer on regular paper than it does on Rhodia, you know, which is yeah fairly rare for me, but I think it does. Here I have it next to a whole bunch of other blues. I've recently just gotten a bottle of Visconti Blue. Uh, I got that at Anderson's when I was there visiting. And uh, I think that's a great blue. I'm really liking it. Also, Blue Hour, which is definitely more green. I mean, if you look at those two next to it, it doesn't even look all that blue. Uh, Namiki Blue, which is a fantastic blue as well. Sky High, everybody's favorite. And then uh, Ackerman Number no. 4, which is probably coming up next on the blog, uh, which is kind of, um, well, it's kind of a deep blue-blackish, but it's definitely got a bit of a purple tinge, I think. Anyway, that's pretty cool. So there it is compared to those. You can see it's lighter than those mostly. Uh, it's probably closest to Sky High. I guess it's a little bit lighter than Sky High, but not much. It's fine. It's a fine ink. No problems. All right, let's uh, put a little bit of water here and see how it goes. Uh, let's see, I'll use this one. And there we go. Yeah, let's get a little bit of action there too. Why not? Because words. All right, you can see the blue swirling away there pretty hard. I don't know if this is going to stick around, but I, I assume part of it's going to. And let's go ahead and mop it up. And lots of it came up, but uh, ooh, I don't know. It's kind of kind of bad news up here for water. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to call this one water resistant at all. This is uh, If that water had been moving, I think it probably would have washed straight off the page. So, yeah, no, uh, no real water resistance in Lamy Blue here. All right. <laughs> Here is the chromatography. I'll do it this way this time. And uh, you can see that some of it did stick around down here at the bottom, which is why I thought probably some of the ink would stick around on the page, but not so. It was, uh, it's, you know, 
pretty much fled. So uh, this one doesn't have much variation. It's really just blue and blue. Just a whole bunch of blue in this blue. So there you go. That's the chromatography. Not super interesting this time, so we'll move on. All right. So back to the uh, ink itself. Uh, Lamy blue, perfectly fine, unobjectionable. Uh, use that cartridge if you want. I just never did. Um, so there you go. All right, that's Lamy Blue. I am uh, Mike. This is inkdependence.com. And uh, please, if you like the blog, uh, go over to patreon.com slash inkdependence to find out how you can help support the blog. Uh, here's a hint. It is cash money. Uh, I take, uh, you know, a uh, monthly donation type thing going on there at Patreon. It's pretty easy. Um, so, uh, you know, if you like the blog and you want to kick in a few bucks, I would really like that. To my current patrons, hey, thanks very much, current patrons. I super appreciate it. All right, y'all. Peace out.